Hello, I'm Atuba George and I'm here with my beautiful wife Gloria and we are so excited to share God's truth with you. Now, I know you're getting blessed already, praise God. praise God. Now, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, I mean, go ahead and do so. There are lots of materials there to bless you. Praise God. Amen. And then also, as we share these things, if you have questions that you would like to ask, don't hesitate. You can send us a message. And I, I'm, I'm telling you, we'll respond to your message. You, you need something specifically we should pray for you about. You can send us a message. And God will surely bless you. Now, before going to today's broadcast, can we call for that daily bread? Yes. Hallelujah. Praise I'm God. expecting great miracles Same today. here. Because God is our Father. Sure. <laughs> it's God. It is. So say this with me. Say, Father. Father. I demand. I demand. And I receive today. And I receive today. My daily bread. My daily bread. It's coming to me now. It's coming to me now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And Father, we honor your name in this broadcast Thank today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for every burden that is being lifted right now. Amen. Thank you for every yoke that is destroyed. Amen. By reason of the anointing. Amen. Thank you for restoration taking place right now. Husbands' hearts are turned to the wife. Amen. Wives' heart turned to the husband. Amen. And purpose is found in families. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Praise God. Now we, we were dealing with family matters. And you were, you were sharing something yesterday about um, Abraham and how God saw him first as a person and said, look, you will be a great nation. Now, what an assurance to have from the maker of heaven and telling you, you will be a great nation. Now, now God wasn't just telling Abraham, where we read, he wasn't just telling Abraham, those were God's thoughts concerning those were God's thoughts concerning Abraham because God was saying will I hide from Abraham what I want to do saying that he will be so it's a concluded God wasn't saying it to Abraham to get him excited you know, maybe Abraham was worried thinking do I have a future and God said no you will have a great you will become a great nation no God was thinking about this should I do this or not why should I do it because Abraham is going to be a great nation so you were talking yesterday and, and I wanted to pick, pick it up from there you were sharing how God looked at the man first and picked him from the cause of what he saw in his life. Remember you talked about Lot yesterday? Yes. How Lot learned, Lot must have learned some things from, from, Abraham. from Abraham, showing that there was something Abraham was working on, something he was working on. Just, just pick it up from there. Let's... You know, like you said, Abraham had a beautiful relationship with God. And first, I think first, he had a beautiful relationship with God. Yes. Not, not a religious relationship. Mm -hmm. A real He knew and understood God. Can we look at Jeremiah? Jeremiah chapter 9. Verse 24. Yeah. Okay, let's run it from 23. It says, Thus says the Lord, Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. Let not the mighty man glory in his might. Nor let the rich man glory in his riches. But let him who glories glory in this, that he understands and knows me that I am the Lord exercising loving kindness judgment and righteousness in the earth for in this I delight says the Lord you see what gets God delighted when we know him when we understand him and it's a process it takes time it takes um, you being intentional about knowing God not just um, not just okay God says I should not steal 
God says I should not cheat. God says I you just run through the commandments. I why? Why doesn't he want me to do that? Why does he want me to trust him? When you when you know the why, you start understanding the father's heart. Mm. You start knowing him personally. You start mm. understanding him personally. You start knowing these good thoughts that he has concerning you. What are they? You know, we're looking at this scripture now. It says mm. that the verse twenty four. Okay. Let me just start from in between. It says, Okay. I oh, let me see, let me start judgment. But let him that glorious glory in, in this, this yeah. that he understands yeah. and knows mm. me and then he just didn't say that he says that's meaning this is what he understands about me mm. that i am the lord who loves exercising, exercising. now i love that word exercising you know what i know exercise means i mean You're flexing stretching mm-hmm. stretching I am the Lord who loves to exercise loving loving, kindness kindness, and what? Judgment. Judgment. And yet. Righteousness. And right loving kindness, judgment, righteousness in the the earth. earth. And he says, For in these I delight. delight." So God delights in showing, not just showing, exercising loving kindness. So God is saying, if you understand me like this, mm-hmm. that this is what I love doing, mm-hmm. then rejoice because you now really, really know me. Yes. <laughs> so yes. Now, you were saying something, not just saying God does not want me to steal, but knowing why. Because the person you're thinking of stealing from, God wants to show that person loving, loving kindness. kindness. So now you see what belongs to the person and, and you, you're so tempted to take it. But you feel, God's going to get angry at me. Why? Because I'm going to obstruct him showing loving kindness in terms of preservation for that person. And then God also wants me to show loving kindness to this person by yeah. not taking from him yeah. what is his. So understanding that God is showing him loving kindness I too should show loving kindness by not taking from him yeah, what, belongs what belongs to him. To if I need it, I can ask for it. Mm. So you know the why. This is how God is. You know, it's the same thing that you know when we get on God's word. <laughs> we 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 now nah, but but all these things are very important. Now he says. Oh, no man, nothing but love. He didn't say that because he just wants to make you a financial guru. No, he wants you to be like him. Exactly. Exercising loving, loving kindness. kindness. So you don't owe your staff. You don't owe people who do stuff for you. You don't, you don't, you don't say, please, I'm not paying you again. Mm-hmm. You don't even hold the relationship you have with God from people. From people, exactly. Because that's where we're headed. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. freely I have received. Yeah. Freely I'm going to give. When you're enjoying um, the relationship that you have with God, when, when you're enjoying that you understand Him, you would want to pass it down. Like, you see someone struggling. You see someone trying to, you know, have by struggling. Or you see someone working in strife, being bitter, your heart is already drawn to the person like, no, no, no. You don't condemn. You don't, come, let me show you. Let me show you who would make you not to be like this. Let me show you who I have fellowship with. You're already perturbed by what you see around you. Now, who you see around you is like your family now. We are still going to narrow this to the, the, the family itself where father, mother, we are, we are trying to bring it down to you as an individual, being intentional, being purposeful in your work with the Lord mm. so that you can be a blessing to the earth. Because God also told Abraham that he, his name, he, his, he, the families of the earth will be, will be blessed, blessed because, because of, of him. So this work he has with God 
It's not just his family. You know what I'm thinking? Tell me. When you said, share your, your work with God to others. Jesus was looking at this crowd. I'm sure the Lord spoke to him. He said, you want to let these people go hungry? Mm -hmm. yeah. So what's your, if you can feed them. And then Jesus now turns to his disciples. Mm -hmm. I said, guys, why would we get bread to feed all these people? And you know what the disciples said? Ah! <laughs> How much bread are we going to buy? Can you, let's just send them home. And Jesus said, no. no. Let's give them to eat. Now he received from the Lord and became a blessing to the people which was exercising the loving, loving kindness. kindness of God. Yes. He received it. You, 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 you can't do this thing if you're not in a real relationship with God. It, you yeah. can't do Human it. Mind These things are not this. written in a manual. Do step one, step two, step three. These things only work out when you know him and you are walking with him. Now that's the same relationship because when you walk with the Lord, you will learn things from him. Exactly. I think the first thing God does in our life is to teach us. He teaches us his ways. Now when you learn from him, you teach those around you. Now, that is how you command. You don't command by, come here. You don't go do here. Don't do that. Stop. Do this. <laughs> how? <laughs> you command by showing. No, no, someone say, I, I notice you don't get angry. You say, eh, it's because I'm a good person. No. You said, you, 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 you said I'll tell you why I don't get angry. You know, five years ago, you know, one time someone really hurt. I was so angry and, and bitter and, and, and I was praying and just the Lord now spoke to me and said, what you're doing is wrong. I said, how? Well, he hurts me. And I said, look, he began to show me his work. He began to show me his personality. And I realized that ah, I was actually cheating myself, being angry. And I made up my mind from that day. Nobody is big enough to keep me in bitterness. <laughs> now, now, you see, you, you just showed what you received from, God. from the Lord. And you are actually commanding that person. So you cannot command your household if you are not As following. You cannot. So, you know, God, you, you started by saying, God looked at Abraham as a person and says, this guy will command so he had something yeah. to command them on. Exactly. The servants in his house. Yeah. We have scripture tell us about Eliezer. He and when Abraham sent his servant to go look for a wife for, for Isaac, Isaac. How would you trust your servant so much that he should go get a wife for your son? That's because you trained him. You raised him. You, he became a son to you. Like Jesus would say, we are no longer servants. You don't but just we are send friends. anybody to go look for a wife. For <laughs> and this is someone that is, is consciously keeping what God told him. Yes. Remember? Yes. What he's... Because yes, why is he doing servant, all of this? Remember the servant asked him a question. When you told him, swear mm. that you will not allow get a wife from you. But so yeah. the servant now said, what if... I find a girl, but she's unwilling to follow. to follow me. Should I take your son Abraham to that place? Abraham said, far be it. it. Mm -hmm. And guess, guess what, his, what his reason was? Because God has said, keeping his word again, <laughs> he said, God has said mm -hmm. that he will give me these lands. This land. Mm -hmm. So if you take my son away from this land, how will he inherit it? <laughs> <laughs> and the same command of don't marry from this place. Yeah. He was still obeying God yeah. to go out. Out, yeah. yeah. God showed him where he should go marry from. And that's where he sends the servants. There is a lot to learn from this man. There is a lot. We are just... So, so what we're taking out from today is this. Mm. Before you can command your household, 
you must know where you're going. Yes. You must have the working relation and it must be visible and real to you. Yes. Not not a religious thing. It's mm -hmm. not not mm -hmm. not a all of us go to church. Mm -hmm. uh, no, no. A real your household or whoever you're commanding must see that you are in relationship with, with God. God. They should know, you know the why? God that you serve. So that when God comes to visit them, they will not be asking. Who, Who is he? <laughs> Who are you? No. All, all God have to say is, I'm the God of your master. Mm -hmm. The I'm voice will even be familiar. Just like um, oh, yes. Samuel. Yes. You know, and Eli. The voice was familiar. Oh. <laughs> the scripture is deep. It's wide. It cuts across every area of our life. So, God will help us. Hallelujah. You know our time is up, okay. <laughs> and, and and listen, we're going to continue tomorrow. But listen, we are sharing these things with you, not so that you just sit down and be listening and say, "Wow, no, 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 no," that you think and begin to apply these things in your own life. Yes, it doesn't matter whether you're a man or a woman. Come on now. Start building a real relationship with the Lord. Learn from Him. And what you learn from Him, teach. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's just pray and bless them. Father, thank you, Lord. Babes, can you go ahead and just bless? Eternal Rock of Ages. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for opening up of yourself to us. Hallelujah. These few days. Thank you for more that you will cause us to see Hallelujah. and understand that you are a God that yes. loves to exercise, yes. to show loving kindness. Thank you, Father, because you will not hide anything from us. Yes. We are ready to keep drawing. Hallelujah. We are ready to feed. Hallelujah. We are ready to increase. Hallelujah. We are ready to change. Hallelujah. We are ready to stand with you, yes. to see your will fulfilled on the earth even in our lives as individuals, cutting across even down to our families. Yes. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because you are making every heart willing. Hallelujah. You are opening our eyes to see where we need to make adjustments. Yes. You are opening our eyes to see where we need to tighten. Yes. You are opening our eyes to see what we ought to do and the boldness to do it is in us. Yes. Hallowed be your name, O oh God. Hallelujah. Because of the testimonies that is coming out already. Yes. Because of these teachings that we are receiving. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. Because indeed, foundations are restored Hallelujah. to godliness. Because we are discussing foundations. Yes. You are restoring and rebuilding foundations. Yes. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. You are blessed. I will see you tomorrow. Until then, bye.